This is a 2013 um, Isuzu, Isuzu NPR uh, HD and the oil filter. The oil filter was really hard to get out of this and it's a big filter and I'll show you how I got it out. This is the filter right here. It's a fleet value filter but the filter is not the problem. The problem is that this filter was really stuck on there so I, I got it out but uh, I had to do some uh, like be creative to get it out and the problem is that it was really tight probably they tightened it too much when they put it in or they just they just did not lubricate this 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 gasket right here or this seal for the for the filter and it's not it hasn't been replaced for a while over like months or maybe even years because this truck was bought at a uh, at a uh, what is, at a uh, dealership and so maybe they didn't replace this and the way that I got it out <clears throat> I tried this right here I tried this tool it broke this is a, um, like a 10 20 dollars tool um, at, at the O'Reilly or or AutoZone but it broke so this did not work so then I got I got this tool right here this is another tool like a wrenching tool that uh, you can wrap around this right here and then uh, and then just turn it with this tool right here if it was a normal <laughs> uh, a normal oil change then it would come off but this wasn't a normal oil change well it should have been but it's not this was really stuck so did this did not work even um, putting an extension like this on on it here on it here so that I could turn it so I have more leverage to turn it but it did not work so then <clears throat> um, got creative with it I put a hole in here in here put a screwdriver and uh, try to turn it it did not turn put another one here it did not turn it did not turn putting a screwdriver in here not even with a, um, a 3 8 uh, extension uh, like this one putting it in here and then turning it it did not turn that way so then uh, the other the way that I used or the to get it out is using this tool right here this is a fuel pump or oh, this is like a fuel tank um, a tool this is to replace a fuel pump this tool here they sell it at O'Reilly's at um, AutoZone and all those places and uh, so I made two holes in here in this right here using this tool right here uh, so I made those holes but I you could use a, um, a cut wheel tool like this one right here you see and um, cut a uh, a square hole on this side here and then on other, on the other side and then put this put this tool in there but the tool just slips out so I cut this in it on both sides I like one on the on one side and the other on the other side so that I could just so that it grabs on the the metal part of the filter and it uh, it turns it uh, like this way and um, well this was really stuck so this broke off I got this tool right here but it broke off right here I used it with this tool right here using this this um, this ratchet right here did not work on it because this is a, this is a 3 8 uh, drive in there so I used my 3 8 drive but it did not work use this other one right here with this extension in it or this adapter it did not work so I had to get my pry bar no not my pry bar my braking bar and then that's the the one that worked on this filter right here this is just an oil filter but it was, it was really really stuck on it on this uh, diesel diesel truck Isuzu NPR 2013 so that's how I got it out hopefully this helps you with this with any any uh, stuck on oil filters 
because uh, you can use this tool right here and just do the same thing you can put two holes in it and then turn it with this tool right here because you can because it's a 3a uh, 3a drive or there are some some tools like this that are half uh, half drive some of them are like three uh, like the, um, you could put three they have three I don't, I don't know what, what you would call them like teeth or something like that so you can put it in in there but this one has two so I made two holes in this oil filter this is the new filter I'm gonna put some oil lubricate the seal right here when I put it on so that we do this right and then next time I take it off it's going to be easy I it's dirty because I I grabbed it with my my hands that are wet with oil but uh, this is it and this is how I got it out this this clip here is, is when I got it out so yeah this is how I got it out this and these clips so that's how I got it out I hope that this helps you and the, these clips here is um, me like taking it out so you can see how I how I took it out with these tools.